When I make sourdough sandwich bread, I use this long 16 inch pan. But when I first got it, I struggled to find the right shape for this pan. The challenges include when you transfer the dough, it tends to sag <laughs> as you put it into the tin. The other challenge is getting that lovely even top. Uh, often the middle is, is high and the ends are shorter. So after a lot of experimentation, I have come up with my own way of shaping this loaf. Some people will recommend shaping two smaller loaves and putting it into one pan. I don't like that because it creates a trench in the middle where the two loaves meet. Some people might say, Nicole, why don't you just bake this into, in two separate loaf pans? but then you get double the ends. And really, when you make sandwich bread, everybody just wants a middle piece, right? You're not gonna make a sandwich out of end pieces. So this gives me minimal end pieces, lots of soft, fluffy, delicious middle pieces. And that's why I use this pan. So let me show you my special technique. Okay, so we're first going to take this dough out. Okay, first wet my hands. Now, the idea is that we're going to jelly roll this dough. And as we transfer it into the tin, because it's such a long dough, it tends to sag. We're going to kind of push in, compress the dough, put it into the pan, and then expand back out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take our bench scraper. We're gonna spread this lovely dough out. And you might want to keep your tin close by because you want to sort of measure out how, let's see, about how long. That, that seems just about right. Spreading it out, stretching it, but not beyond the pan. Wet your hands again if they're getting sticky. Have your pan close. So once we have our rectangle, we're going to release the edge that we're going to start with, and we're going to roll it to the other side. And I like to sort of tuck as I roll, be gentle, don't take the gas out. Use your bench scraper if it's sticking, and then tuck in, roll and tuck in, roll and tuck in. Now, I like to keep that seam side down. Here we go, we're going to compress in. Pick up the ends, push it towards the middle. I'm gonna wet my hands so it doesn't stick. All right, make sure to release that bottom before you move it so nothing gets left behind, All right? Okay, wet hands, push in, and back out. Seam side down. And there you have a nice, even dough. This is going to proof on the counter for a couple of hours and then I will cold proof it overnight and bake it in the morning. This sandwich loaf bakes into the most delicious, soft, fluffy crumb. In fact, I recently did a short on how I get such a soft crust and tender crumb, so go check it out. But if you're looking for a step-by-step, -step, in depth tutorial on how to make great sourdough bread, I have a course. This video breaks down everything you'll get out of the course from sourdough starter to finished loaf. 